Hello everyone. Um, in case you don't know who we are, I'm Beryl and this is Rachel and we're part of Buxton Community Church and this week Rachel has the privilege, I think it's a privilege, <laughs> to share with you as part of our church's um, Digging Deeper with the Best series and we pray that God's word will be a lamp to our feet and a light to our paths as we share in this study together. Um, we have got notes, so if you notice us um, looking down, then that's why. But we need to keep it on track as it is a study, not just a chat. OK, thank you. Um, Rachel, share a little about your study with your friend Sarah on Jonah. Uh. <laughs> uh, my, uh, I'm, I'm doing, doing a, a Bible study with, with my friend Sarah. We, uh, we've been doing it for a couple of years now. I do it, she does it, and, and we text. Not just on Jonah, though. No, we've done all, all, <laughs> all, all sorts, but at the moment it, it's on, on, jo on Jonah. Now, my friend Sarah lives, I don't know, 150 miles a, a, away, but we can still share and, mm. and, and do, yeah. do readings t together. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So, what do you think of when you hear the name Jonah, Rachel? Hmm. <laughs> uh, when when I first read the the book of Jonah, I just thought, for goodness' sake, Jonah, stop moaning! <laughs> you just moan, and you just are unhappy with everything. Mm. But as as you read more into Jonah. Jonah, you, you you see that the book is so so much more than 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 that. Mm. It's more than him moaning. <laughs> what else does it show you, Rachel? Uh, uh, it's it's a story of of God's mercy and and compassion, mm. not only only on Jonah, but on but on others. God tells Jonah to go go to Nineveh. Jonah decides, nope, and he flees to the furthest point you could po possibly think of, away, away from, 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 from Jonah, from Nineveh. Oh yeah, from Nineveh. <laughs> probably Nineveh. feels like <laughs> probably feels like running away from himself. But as you can see, Rachel's working hard to speak to you today, and that's great. So I'll champion her and keep asking questions to give her a little break and help her to think of the next thing. So, Rachel, what happens next? Uh, well, Jonah is fleeing. Uh, he he gets on a, on, on a boat and off he goes. But a big, big, huge storm co comes. The sailors are terrified We've never seen a, sto a, a, a storm like this. Jonah is asleep. Now, how could anybody sleep through, through a storm that is like that? I really, really don't. I could. Don't know. <laughs> I definitely could, couldn't. Jonah seems in, indifferent to what to what is going on. Um, but Jonah eventually confesses. That is all his fault. And the sailors begin to see the power of God at work. God is pers pers pursuing Jonah. Hmm. So did you notice a change in Jonah's attitude? Uh, yeah, jo Jonah shows a bit of com compassion towards the sailors. He tells the sailors, Say so, yeah, there's just chuck me over and everything will will be fine, and he he tells them that it's it's because he has sinned and and plead. Mm. So Jonah is thinking of of others at this point. <laughs> the sailors do not want jo Jonah to throw to throw him overboard. They just don't want to do do it, but they do. And after that, the, the sailors see that their gods are not like our, our God and Jonah's God. 
So they call out to the Lord, not wanting to perish, and they they want to please the Lord. So back to Jonah. You will know the story and how it goes. Jonah gets swallowed by a fish, a huge fit fish. <laughs> While in the belly, he moans. And he calls, but he does call out to, to God. Eventually, the Lord spoke to the fish and Jonah was vomited out onto dry land. And that must have been gross. Oh, <laughs> is that the end of the story? Nope. God tells jo jo Jonah again to go, go to Nineveh. Nineveh. This time Jonah goes. Jonah t tells the people of, of Nineveh about, about God and he brings God's word to, to, to them and it clearly makes a difference to the people and it moves them mm. to turn back, to turn to God. Mm. So Jonah's heart is slowly changing do you think? Yeah, you, as you read through it, you can definitely see, see a sense of uh, Jonah's at, at, attitude is is, is cha changing. He does as God tells him, instead of rebelling against God. Mm. As you read through through the book, you will see God's mercy and, and compassion. It happens on the site sailors and the people of, 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 of Nineveh and on Jonah who hmm. will still continue to, to, to moan. You can see more of the character of, of God woven through the, the, the story hmm. so please read, read it. Yeah yeah um, you know Jonah's a bit like us, isn't he? We see God's hand at work and still we can moan. And well, I can, I'll be honest, and forget the hand of God being on my life. And like Rachel says, we suggest you now take the time to read the book of Jonah. It's only four chapters, it's not very long. And answer the questions that are either below the video or in the email that's been sent out to you. And the questions will take you deeper. Rachel has not given you all the answers in her talk. You have to do a lot of thinking. It'd be good for you to share them with a friend or with a group. I know our Bible study group will be doing them in a couple of weeks. But yeah, we just pray now that God will bless you. God will keep you. God will make his face shine upon you and give you peace as you do what he wants. And keep well, everybody, and stay safe in these days. God bless. Bye-bye.